response to COVID-19, PSP is offering virtual fitness classes to Canadian Armed Forces members. By using social media platforms, the virtual fitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Forces members becomes accessible to all. Participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and physical fitness level are unknown, and it's entirely up to each individual to assess their ability to participate in this class. Since it's preferable to consult your physician before beginning any exercise program, we invite all participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members to consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference documents. If you experience any pain or difficulty during the exercises presented in this video, it is recommended that you stop and consult a healthcare provider. If a CAF member sustains an injury during this video, please remember to fill out a CF-98. Hey guys, Emily here at CFB Halifax serving all you reserve units across our beautiful country and especially Nova Scotia. Welcome to our workout today. We have an awesome combo of movements in store for you. What you're going to need, you'd need a set of dumbbells or some type of a weight. A yoga mat is preferable. If not, find a comfortable space on the floor. You're in for a 45 minute workout today. Grab what you need, don't forget water, and come on back and we are going to get started with our warm up. Let's dive on into that warm up. You're gonna to wanna to follow along with me for this one. We have a number of exercises that we're going to do. We're gonna stick with the magic number five for our rep scheme. I'm gonna throw my clock on for two minutes to get us started, uh, and we'll see where that takes us. So, we're gonna get started. We're gonna pick an object. Um, I'm just gonna use the end of my yoga mat and we're going to do uh, five toe taps per leg to the end of the yoga mat or whatever object you choose. So here we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Five air squats for one, nice and slow. Two, three, four, one more for five. For five, we're going to do five push-ups. We're going to go from the knees, shoulders are down and back, creating some torque underneath the palms. Palms are directly underneath the shoulders. Let's bring the chest to the floor for one, two, three, four, and one more for five. Dumbbell actually. 
belly. Two, and one. Grab that dumbbell. We're going to do dumbbell swings. So both hands around the neck of the dumbbell. Let's bring the dumbbell up to shoulder height. Drive the hands flat.
standard for this movement is the floor. It is a shoulder tap, and I'm going to demonstrate it now. So shoulders directly underneath, over top of the hands. We're going to touch our opposite shoulder with the opposite hand. So six per side, 12 total. I don't want to see any large rotations. Really focus on keeping this movement as strict as possible. All right, I hope you guys know what we're doing. I'm sure you do that with a lengthy explanation. So let's get started. I'm throwing five or 12 minutes on my clock. Help keep us in line. And we're doing this for five rounds. Once again, 12 rounds. So either go on your own or I will count for you. Either way, we got this. So in 10 seconds, we are going to get started with our floor press. So here we go in five, four, three, two, and magic number one. Go ahead, strict press from the floor for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Once we bring the dumbbells back down to flexion, we're going to stand up and we're going to go into our bent over row, remembering all the teaching cues for that movement, hinging at the hips. Back is nice and flat. Rib cage is down towards the hip bone. We're going for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and 12. Excellent. Let's bring it down to the floor. We're doing 12 shoulder taps, six per side from the high plank position. Here we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Perfect. That is one round done already. Take a second, refocus. Let's go on into round number two, two out of five. Here we go for a set of 12. Remember everything we talked about as far as form. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Fantastic. Bent of a row. Whoop. I often feel like a little turtle on my back. I just kind of cannot stand back up. Here we go for the deadlifts, hips back, back nice and tight and straight for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Let's come on down to the floor. For the shoulder taps, this is going to finish up round two out of five. Here we go. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. If you feel your body is rocking, drop to the knees, perform the same movement. Good. Round two done. Alrighty, not so bad. Whew. I was teaching class this morning on the field in the wind with no mic. Needless to say, my voice, a little raspy. All right, let's get it. 
Round number three, bring it to the floor. 12 floor press. Here we go. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and magic number twelve. There we go. Come on up to a stand. We're going to go into the bent over row. Here we go. Whew, I'm starting to get warm already, which is not too hard. It's like a million degrees in here. Here we go. Four, one, two. Think about bringing the center of the dumbbell into our belly button. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. Come on down to the ground. We're going into shoulder taps, you guys. Here we go. Four, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. That's round three done. We're making good time. Let's go into round number four. Shake out those arms. All right. We're going to get started. We'll give ourselves about 15 seconds here. We're at the six minute mark. Into and one, let's go from the floor press for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, over halfway, eight, nine, ten, let's go guys. 11 and 12. Great job. Bent over row time. Here we go. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And 12, good. Come on down to the floor. We're gonna go into shoulder taps. We're almost done, you guys. We got one full round to go after this movement. Here we go. Shoulder taps, six per side, 12 total for one. Remember to come down to your knees if you need to. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and 12. Woo, good. Come on down to the floor. This is our last round. Uh, my goodness, I can't talk today. Last round through. I know this is Wednesday for you, but it's like Monday for me. Things aren't working well. All right, here we go. Or actually by the time this airs, who knows what day it will be. All right, set of 12, four, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Nice. Come on up. Standing position, bent over row. Here we go in three, two, one, and here we go. Let's pull up the hips for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, elbows in close to the side. 11 
and 12. Good, last movement, you guys, with some time to spare. We're gonna come on down to do our shoulder taps, six per side, 12 total. Here we go, hands directly underneath the shoulders, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Fantastic, you guys. All right. That wasn't so bad. That is our strength session done for today. Grab a drink, take about two minutes break, on pause me, that's the key, on pause me, and come on back. We're gonna get started with our conditioning set. We have a fun one coming up. It's a variety of movements, so I promise you won't be too bored. See you, see you in just a second. You guys did a fantastic job with that strength set. We are moving on to the demo portion of our metabolic conditioning set. So listen up and I will walk you through this step by step. We're doing an EMOM. As a matter of fact, we're doing two EMOMs. Both are eight minutes in duration. We're gonna be doing four movements, which means we're gonna be cycling through each movement two times per set. So, might sound confusing, follow along with me. I promise you won't get uh, too confused. So, here are the movements that we're going to be doing for the first eight minute EMOM. Movement number one, we're going to do three push-ups followed by three mountain climbers. So that's, this is what this looks like. Now mind you, three per leg, so six total. So coming down to the floor, you can go from your knees or your toes for your push-ups. So you're doing one, two, three, coming out to a high plank position and three mountain climbers per side, six total. One, two, three, four, five, six, good, and then you're repeating that over. So you're doing that for a total of 45 seconds with a 15 second break, okay? That's our first movement, so just cycling through that. Second, we're going to do a bent over fly. Now I know this is not one that we typically do, but I thought we'd mix it up a little bit today. So, taking your dumbbells, going light if possible. If not, you can add a little bit of a bend to your arm that's gonna help you uh, move a little bit of a bigger weight. But, Hinging the hips to the back of the room. Dumbbells, they're gonna start down in front of you. Your arms are at a full extended position. They're staying in an extended position. You can bend them just slightly. That'll allow you to lift a little bit more weight. And we're gonna bring out to a T position and then back to our starting position. So T, back, T, and back. So we're gonna do bent over row, or sorry, Bent over flies, once again, 40 seconds of work, and then we have our break. Then we're gonna do my favorite movement, burpees. I know I don't have to show you, but I will anyways. We're gonna bring the chest to the floor, jumping at the top, 45 se seconds of those. And finally, coming down to the ground, we're doing some Russian twists that will target the, the core in there. I can't forget about the core. You can hold a weight or you do not have to. Legs are up alternating from side to side for 45 seconds. So, circling through that two times will bring us to eight minutes because everything is a minute each. So, if you need another second, take that time now. If not, we are going to get the clock started and get this over and done with. So whatever you need, grab it now and come right back. We're gonna get started in five, three, two, one, three push-ups.
head stays in line with the rest of our body, not letting it droop. I know I have a bad, bad habit of that. We're over halfway. Halfway there. Into you.
to meet the hands over the chest, bring the hands to the sky, and then bring the hands back to the floor, jumping back out to a high plank. This one will be burning by the end of it. Finally, we have combination sit up and glute bridge. This is kind of a fun little movement. So, feet are on the floor, belly is tight, rib cage is to the, to the hip bone, hands are overhead. We're going to do a sit up to a glute bridge. Sit up to a glute bridge, or you can do it this way, sit up, glute bridge. Sit up, glute bridge. Whatever is most comfortable for you, that is okay with me. So let's get that clock started. Uh, and we're almost there, you guys are crushing it. Great job, let's get going. Five seconds and we're gonna get started. Let's start with the lunge and press, so here we go. This is what we talked about, right foot lunge, left foot lunge, and then we're going to do this trip press. Good. Continue on, right, left, strip press. Right, left, and strip press. I got a nasty glare on my phone. I'm not sure if I'm actually seeing or talking, but that's okay. Halfway there. Good job, guys. Ten seconds to go. And let's rest there. Going into our Romanian deadlift. I'm gonna fix this a bit. Romanian deadlift with the bent over row. In three, two, and one. So our now. Legs are straight, but a slight bend. Then the hip, back to the stand, then over again, and work. Let's rest there. Come back up. Thirty. Ten 
second. At the top, lunge, lunge, press. We're halfway through this, you guys. Here we go with the lunge, lunge, press. Good. Lunge, lunge, press. You guys are doing great. Lunge, lunge, press. I'm feeling that second round.
picking up whatever weight you're gonna choose to use. And here we go in three, two, one, and go ahead with the hammer curls. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and then we're gonna go into the tricep extension over half hour. Okay, so we're gonna go into the Three, two, and one. Resting in 10 seconds, as I said, tricep extension. Holding the head of your dumbbell, elbows are bent. Pressing overhead for one. Two, three, four, five, six. Great job. Those elbows as close together as possible. Resting. Taking up on the other dumbbells. Here we go. In four, three, two, one. Let's go. Nice little accessory finisher here. Slice bend the knee. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Resting. We're at the halfway mark. Once we pick up this dumbbell for our front of extension. Here we go. For three, two, one. Go ahead. Forward extension of the elbows. Good. Interlace the fingers. 
push the chest out. Good, release the hands. We're gonna fold at the hips, rotate the spine. We're gonna hinge and just allow ourselves to hang here for a moment. We're gonna drop down to the ground into a deep loose squat, elbows into the knees. Good, come on down to the floor. We'll stretch out our spine. We did a little bit of rotation today, so we're gonna take our left leg over the right, uh, right over up the right knee, right arm going to make contact with the um, with the knee. We're going to rotate. Sometimes words are going to Good. Very carefully. Come on that. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Oof. Feels good for the IT band. Awesome. Let's go ahead. Fold at the hips. Good. And we'll bring the left leg in so it comes up by the right thigh. Hinge the hips again. Bring the forehead closer to the knees. And we'll switch to the other side. Awesome. All right, you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you for joining me. I'm so happy to have spent an hour with you. Come on back next week. I uh, hope you have an amazing day. See you soon. Bye for now.